When one thinks of President Hagi Gengop's choice of cuisine, delicacies with exotic and difficult names come to mind. This is partly due to the global exposure, love for the finer things in life, not to mention the taste from a very young age. It turns out, however, that Gengop's taste buds never changed as he stuck to his favorite breakfast meal, soft porridge mixed with butter and dairy cultured milk or shikandela. Given their busy schedules, it is not surprising that Dr. Gengob and wife Monica Gengos had no time to prepare the favorite breakfast themselves. Among the well-trained valets is Rita Shilamba, who has been a presidential waitress for about 21 years and is the one preparing the famous energy-boosting then pup meal for Gengob. 49-year-old Merita, as she is affectionately known, shares a unique culinary and cleaning journey with Dr. Gengob, whom she started working for when she was only 27 years old in 2003. Who is Hage to you? Not the president, not the person you work for, or how, how did you come to know the person Hage? Okay, the first time I used to know him, it was when I came in 2003. I came there at, the, at his farm there, farm Hadaloa. Then I, I came around, it was, it was February, I remember. Then I stayed until August at the end. Then from there, I moved to Windhoek. I used to stay here in the house. I was accommodated here. I accommodated for long until even I just moved into the 2019. All those years I was just staying here. So to me, it was more likely like I was just with my father in the house. We used to, and he's not really like a difficult person. Maybe he can get angry, but only after a short time you are already like in a piece again. And also in his eating, it's not really like a lot of things in the morning. It's just pop, pop and milk, chicken dela, and some honey. Most of the thing like in the weekdays, only maybe once a week, like on Saturday, he can maybe eat, just small thing like one egg, one whatever, and a piece of bread mm -hmm. and some coffee. Mm -hmm. Now, Melita, so, you mm -hmm. came, for, okay, maybe first tell us about yourself. I came from the north, deep in the village. So then I was having an uncle in Tumeb. I used to come visit him there. Then from there is when they realized to ask to look for a person. Then the uncle referring to me. Then he came to me, he contacted me, then spoke, then I said, okay, yeah, I'm willing to go. Then from there, he took me to the, uh, to the presence farm now. Mm -hmm. Now, Meme, 2003, mm -hmm. so you were staying here. Yes. Um, your, your duties. My duty, it was, I was just mostly uh, doing like, it, first it was mostly on the kids. Mm -hmm. To be with the kids and then just to help in the house. Everything that can be done in the house. Mm -hmm. Whether it's cleaning, cooking, or everything that uh, the chorus of the house was mm -hmm. so helping with. Yes. And then, um, it was, I'm not sure, was it, Around 2003, 2004, when he left for for the States. Yeah, it was 2003. Because when I came to Vinduk, um, that time he left. He just used to come. And that time when he left, I we used to stay only me and Helmut, the 
the steps are in the house. Until, yeah, 2004, until at the end, and they came back. So you were staying here and taking care of the house even when he wasn't here? Yes. Okay, so I remember in 2016 mm-hmm. when he took you along to UN. Mm-hmm. Was it 2016 or 2016? 2016. Mm-hmm. And I could see how happy you were that day. Yes. So just uh, tell me what went through your mind? It, because it was at that time where I really just saw that um, your relationship must have come from, a, from very far. So what went through your mind? Did you feel that you were being rewarded for being um, a caring, loyal uh, person to him? Or or what went through your mind? Yes, that also. But before that, uh, when I went to UN in New York, first in 2008, he also took me to South Africa. It was my first time to sit in a plane. And I even, it was even, the, I was not even having a passport. I was using a paper, the emergency one. Mm. So we just went for holiday. Mm. It was not really for nothing. We just went for holiday. Then again, he took me again to South Africa again. First we went to Johannesburg. Then second time we went to Cape Town. That time I was not even in government. Mm. And then... When I joined in government in 2013, so in 2016, then we went to New York. I was not even imagining myself, like leaving this continent to go to another one. I was so surprised. Mm-hmm. Even when, the, when I, I woke up in the morning, I was not even, I'm very late. I just was to late. But, all of a sudden, I'm here. I was so <laughs> Sorry, I'm crying because I, I was there that day. Yeah. How she was, I will look for those visuals. <laughs> so I know how it was her and one auntie that the one we are going to interview yeah, in Marita. So I, I know how they in the shopping. From so, okay, so now, um, out there, mm-hmm. yes, this fire politician, someone who will tell you wrong is wrong, mm-hmm. right is right, it's mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. But what do you think um, is something that people don't know about him? I cannot, but us in the house, we know him as a good person and a caring person. He cannot even, if you even you have a problem, then you want to go talk to him. He will, he will assist you. And even like during those Christmas time, everybody have to be happy. At least he will say, okay, go enjoy yourself with your family. He will give you something. It cannot just go like that. So it was really a good, it's a good thing to us to be with him. Mm -hmm. Now, Merita, we want to play uh, this um, program on his birthday. Mm -hmm. So pretend that you are talking now to the president of the Jingling birthday. Mm -hmm. You can do it in English, you can do it in Mm Oshwambo, so that it's a direct message. Mm -hmm. For me, I would say I wish him a, a good health and a long life. I still want more years to stay with him. So what he did to me, I cannot forget it. Because even my family, they cannot do it. Because at least maybe they, they don't have the means to, to give it to me. But at least him, he did. I appreciate it, like, as my father. Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Now, Shilamba, a mother of one, is a full-time government employee and says she loves every minute of preparing the din pap tailored to Dr. Gengob's taste. 